You go first. Yeah, before we started, you told me a very interesting story. I want to start with that. Start off with that. What yes. About the PCS quitting the job. Yes. yes. And I think the first obstacle was not loving what you do. Okay. And how do you overcome not loving what you do? You stop doing what stop you love. Doing, no, you don't stop doing what you love. You, you stop doing what you don't love. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. That's so, what I meant to say. Uh, okay. So, so that's what it was about. So I, I think it was a more instinctive gut feeling situation at that point where I thought I'm not liking it and it does, I don't think it gets me anywhere. Uh, and uh, it was the first hurdle or obstacle that I had to get through. And I did. And it was actually, you know, people think a lot. A lot of people say, before you quit or to take a major decision, especially when it comes to a career, a steady career, where people think uh, you need to consult, take thought opinions, so you can. You did? You know, I did not. I did not. You were just like, yeah. so, you woke up one day and like, I'm fucking up. Yeah, I did that. And then I told my friend that I quit dude. And, and I asked him if it's okay. He's like, yeah, okay, you're okay. He's a good friend. So, so uh, and then I told my mom saying that, hey, you know, that's, uh, I just did this. And they were pretty surprisingly, they were also okay with it. I don't know whether they're still in shock. Or it's been what, like two years? Huh? It's, been, it's been three years. Two years. So, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, they're, I'm in a good position right now. So that's okay. Yeah, things worked out. Uh, but uh, I think the major point being a lot of people are scared about obstacles and what to do about it is because they don't know what you're going to get after jumping the hurdle yeah. or when you actually, you know, face that. Yeah, we situation. don't have a crystal ball. We cannot foresee the future. Yeah, I don't think you have a crystal ball. you have to take the jump anyway. That's the perfect point you got there. There's no crystal. Even if you were continuing in that role or that particular uh, situation that you're in, there's no guarantee that you will be running it smoothly. You do, yes, you do have a job. Yes, you're, you, you, it, it, may look like, it may look like a stable situation there and there. It's just that you had to take a risk. You had to take a risk for what you felt was right. Imagine if I was there like for another two years and I felt, hey, you know, this is not working out for me. I could have done this something, I could have done something earlier. I think regret is way more difficult than just ignoring the problem that you have. I have continuing with the feeling. But yeah, what 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 you with this what 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 made you think about like this? Me? Yeah, what made you? Like you obviously when I told about I keep thinking about that all the time, like uh, how do I get to the next level of my life, my career and things like that and what could be the possible obstacles in the way how do I overcome them? How have I done it in the past and things like that? So I keep constantly thinking about those things. Okay. Um, any situation that you are having right now that may you think about it or was it something beforehand? Well, there are like always there are things that you have to work on. So for example, uh, I think about life as climbing a mountain and every milestone is say one step closer or say base camp number one and base camp number two like it will take you a long time to reach the peak or maybe never like, you keep trying to reach the peak what do you but, think do you think there's a peak there's a peak for sure okay. for sure uh, and you hit the first base camp then you move to the next one then you move to the next one then you're lost for a certain period of time you don't know which way the next milestone is. Then you find your way again, then you go to the next one. And you keep climbing. But according to you, what's a peak? Like is that like one single peak like the tip of tippy tee top of the mountain? Or is it like multiple For peaks? For me it's like uh, a never ending aspiration to be better than what you are doing that. Yeah. Uh, focusing on like every area of your life. Which is health, your career, your relationship, your happiness, your spirituality, your hobbies, and other things that you did. And then, like, moving it, moving the needle in those yeah. areas of life, at least by one degree, to scale their way. So, that's how it is. When do you think that, when do you tell that, hey, I'm at the peak right now, 
this is all what my kind of can achieve or what I can achieve. Do you really compare yourself to what other people have achieved or do you compare yourself to what you have achieved and what you could do? And do what you, I could do for sure. Like, I don't think like yeah, there's twenty people done. And one lifetime is not so keep doing it. Keep doing what? Whatever moves the needle in one of the aspects of your life, maybe after some point it gets into helping others maybe. Yes. So, okay. But then how does obstacles here would have affect you reaching that thing? And if it does, how do you overcome it? So one of the things interesting things about obstacles is uh, so say you have a goal and you have hit it. Then the thing is what you want to do next. Like, okay, there's an emotion for in five minutes. Yeah, I had this goal for six months and been focused, I worked hard at it, I've changed different habits. Now I'm there. What next? So uh, one of the biggest obstacles towards that is at least for me, I'm like, okay, I've done enough, let's chill for a bit. It's more of an instant internal obstacle than something that is provided by the universe. It's like self acceptance or happiness with whatever you do. Uh, I think you should, after, or at least for me, that holds true for me. Like once you've picked up something on your list, you should immediately focus on your energies to figure out what you want to do next. Or have a goal which is big enough which will take your entire lifetime to achieve. But then have small goals and everything. I mean, how do you realize it's an obstacle? Like, it, is it something that you don't feel good about? Like, okay, something that you're facing right now, you would say, hey, you know, this is not helping me to achieve my goals, and that's why it's an obstacle. Or is it that it's something that I can't do, though it is one step that can help me achieve that goal? There are two things. It's either it is difficult for you, it's a challenging situation. Yeah. You obviously, sometimes people miss have a misconception about an obstacle or a challenge. Yeah. And, and how do you differentiate both? I don't know. So let me try and clarify this and make it yeah. a bit more simple. Let me give an example. Yeah. So I was in New Zealand in September, around September last yeah. year. And uh, I was in Keep, uh, a town called Queenstown in South New Zealand. And uh, there's this place called uh, so there's this mountain track called the Tiki Trail. And so there's two ways to go to the top of the mountain. One is take the cable car up to the top or take the Tiki Trail. So it's about four kilometers and I've read about it on the internet. And I decided to take the trail. I decided to walk up to the, uh, to the top of the mountain. And the first 30 minutes was immensely painful. Man. Like the climb was so, so steep. And I was so out of breath that I was thinking about, you know, walking back down and taking the cable car. I was that exhausted. So it was a middle of, like, it was a forest trail. There was no one around. And people who were around were fitter than me. Yeah. They reached the top in half the time or whatever. They were just jogging through. Yeah. So I would see someone every 15 minutes is jogging up. But anyway, so at that point, like 30 minutes into the trail, I was exhausted. I couldn't breathe. I sat down on the forest floor and I was thinking, you know, what to do next? Should I go back down and take the cable car up top or should I continue? So and then I decided whatever happens, happens. Uh, we'll reach the top. So I uh, got up and uh, uh, and started walking and finally reached the top. So you, you jogged up? Or I didn't jog up. I you walked up. You crawled your way. Yeah, I crawled my way. Fingernails on the dirt and things like that. Yeah, I can imagine that. And I was on the, like, totally exhausted, but it was worth it. Uh, so, my belief is, if I had taken the cable car up to the top, I wouldn't have enjoyed the view as much. So, when I reached the top and I saw the view, like, the feeling of pleasure and accomplishment and peace that I felt was immeasurable. I see. Uh, and I don't think I would have felt the same way if I just, it would have been an easy achievement, uh, but it meant something. Like I went through the thing and yeah. so that's what I mean or that's a metaphor for obstacles in life. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like you have a goal and then you struggle to reach it. But if you don't give up, the results will be worth it. I that's mean, what it means to me. Yeah, so it's a leap of faith that you just took saying that. Okay, this one you obviously wanted to go on top. It was a clear thing. Yeah. It's not, but it's midway not like I changed my it's mind. Not like that, it's not like that crystal ball that we talked about. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen next. next. So, how do you differentiate? Now you know that yeah, you want to get into the top. That's the, that's the final goal. You already can see it. it's in your vision. Everybody has achieved it, conquered it, you know, if they end. Yeah. So that's, that's what you know. This is just a challenge. Tackle where you are to like skip it or you know you can whatever. It's not a different between challenge and obstacle. Okay. Yeah. So now when it comes to we call this a challenge or obstacle. This is just challenge. Challenge. Let's call it challenge. No, let's let's let's, let's, let's call it challenge. Okay, that, that's okay. It's something. It is a challenge. But an obstacle. What do you what do you, like? Where a situation where you could say that this is an obstacle and I decided that it may not help me get to my destination. I had to go around it or either I had to take different measures to go over it. Do you have any? So again, so... You don't know. You don't know what it looks like. You don't know what it looks like in the other side. Now you know. There is a peak. Okay. okay. So you just told. Okay. No, I don't have an example. Like, the, come on. What you okay? It's 34, right? I'm sure in 34 years, 35 years, you have got this a lot of obstacles. Yes, and I'm sure you've killed it in one of those. But anything, anything that you... I don't know, like nothing comes to my mind where I didn't have the goal in focus and then I was just... I took a leap of faith. No, you have the goal in focus, but you don't know the consequences of those things. Now you know... In this example, this game, you know that the trail is not a difficult path. Like there's no uh, landslides that are going to happen. Or there was no one. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not about that. It's about uh, there's no landslides. There's no. It's it's not. It's more. It, there's a lesser chance of a landslide than you just jumping into a situation uh, about. What's gonna happen in the future? You don't know what's gonna. Future is more indefinite than a landslide over there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so that situation, I'm saying, you don't know. You are you're ready to take the consequences, uh, but you don't want this to stop you. Is there any situation in that? Or you don't have a situation in that. We can discuss that. If you think about it, discuss it. Sure. Yeah, it's a good time. But yeah, but cool.